In today's video I'm going to be showing you how I prep nails for nail enhancements. So if you want to learn how, then just keep watching. So these are my mummy's nails, she got a little paper cut or whatever she did there, Oof, looks painful but yeah I'm going to go ahead and prep them for acrylic application and I'm going to take you guys along with the steps of the prep that I follow every single time with every single client and I have had people's and clients nails last up to 9 weeks which is freaking bomb.com so this is my natural nail prep, um, I've gone ahead and I've already pushed back the cuticles missed out that step I forgot to film it but yeah push back the cuticles pretty simple thing to do just use a regular cuticle pusher and push them back don't be too harsh don't press down too harsh because then you can cause ridges in the nail and we don't want that so then I go ahead and I come in with my cuticle bit now I will leave all the links for the bits in the description box down below so you can go ahead and check those out and I'm basically just going around the cuticle area where we would have lots of dead skin and things like that that have grown onto the nail plate and I'm just going around and making sure to cleanse right right close to the cuticle so I do that on all 10 of the nails and once I've done that I'll then move on to the next step now for the next step I do go ahead and start prepping with my e-file but please note I don't do this for every client I'll just sort of like I don't know, whatever I'm feeling like that day I will do, um, sometimes I'll just use a hand file, sometimes I like to go in with my e-file and a sanding bit, whatever you're comfortable with you go ahead and do. So today for this video I decided to film with my e-file, I do go ahead and come in with my regular file afterwards but I do that anyway. So when you're working with an e-file and a sanding bit, you want to make sure that you have got your e-file on the lowest setting that it can possibly go on, not a touch higher. Because we want to make sure that we are protecting and keeping those natural nails safe. We do not want to be filing or over filing. We do not want any heat burns or create any burn lines or anything like that in the nails. And we don't want our client to feel uncomfortable at any stage in the service that you are providing. So basically you're going to come ahead, we're not applying any pressure whatsoever whatsoever and we're basically going to be tickling the nail we're brushing extremely 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 lightly no pressure at all and we're just going over and can you see how it just sort of dulls the nail and removes any of the extra skin that we haven't removed off the rest of the nail plate with the cuticle bit um, so it just removes that and then we can get even closer into the cuticle area and around the side walls making sure that we are really thoroughly prepping the nail this is also great for like once you've got really good at it in practice it just sort of cuts down the prep time immensely um, so if you can master it it is absolutely fantastic to know how to do but if you can't don't be like unhappy about it um, I've prepped with a regular nail file for ages literally like years I still mainly just use a regular nail file but I, sh I just kind of thought I'd add this in here as well to show you guys sort of like other methods and alternatives as well so I'll go ahead and I'll do that on all 10 nails, making sure that I get as close as I can to the cuticle area. Sometimes, because of angles that you're at, it's impossible to get too close or as close as you want to without sort of like getting the client's skin. So if you think you're going to be doing that, then don't go there because we'll come in with the hand file after that. I'll leave any labels or anything on any diagrams on the screen for you guys to look at if I think it's going to be helpful or informational stuff, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, moving on to the next bit. So yeah, like I said, I do that on all 10 nails and then I move on to using an e-file. An e no. Then I move on to using a regular hand file. Now this hand file that I'm using is 100, 180 grit and it's just one of the zebra files. I think it's the diamond or rhombus shape. I cannot remember for the life of me. Um, but yes, I ordered them in bulk and they are absolutely fantastic. I might do a supply or best buys for nails that like are a must video kind of thing so if you want to know that then please let me know but anyway so I'm just coming in with my hand file and can you see I'm going up and down up and down the side walls around the cuticle area or just any bits that I feel like I may not have thoroughly 
got with my e-file. I do this around all of the edges anyway just to sort of like make sure that everything is off of the nail. I'm not applying too much pressure if anything at all really, I'm just literally brushing across the nail. And this just makes sure that we have completely got rid of anything, any dead skin, dry skin, any anything basically off the nail plate and I also sort of use it to not push the cuticles not to push the cuticles back as well but it sort of helps just that little bit more do you know what I mean so you can push it up into the cuticles not hurting or not like hard or anything like that but yeah once I've done that I will then go ahead and cleanse the nails I use NSI's pure plus or you can just use rubbing alcohol or just what any any sanitizer of your choice and I'll come in with this is meant to be a lint free wipe but can you see some little hairs down there on the little finger the freaking so annoying but yeah a lint free wipe and you just come to the nails and scrub them making sure that you're getting off any dust or anything like that and then you are pretty much ready to either apply your forms or apply your nail tips and then continue with your service so that's how I prep my nails every single time I do a client and don't forget that I will also obviously sanitize and cleanse the nails as well before the service begins. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope that you enjoyed this and I will see you in my next one. Bye!